need a grand entrance. Yeah. Hello. In my journey of learning how to make clothing, one thing I've discovered that I really love to do, which you might already know this, but I love to take fabric and material that's not meant to be clothing and turn it into wearable items. Partly out of wanting to recycle, some of that is just a sprinkle of guilt whenever I buy new fabric. Now normally to do this, I usually stick with massive amounts of fabric. Bed sheets, curtains, why did I pronounce that T so much? Curtains. Tablecloths. But this week, uh, I wanted to try something a little bit different. This thought has never occurred to me until a lovely human contacted me on Instagram and said, hear me out pillowcases. And I said, you're a genius. So we're going to find out if I can make an outfit or two, <laughs> an outfit or, or two out of just pillowcases. It's possible they're just fabric, but I wanted to see if I could go to the thrift store, gather enough material to make an outfit. Now this is an added challenge because normally you could just order a bunch of pillowcases in the same pattern and fabric at the thrift store. Options are limited. I don't know that I'm even gonna find two of the same pillowcases. I think that's what's gonna make this a little bit challenging and a lot of bit stressful, but also fun. That is the challenge. I am definitely nervous about this, but I have a couple different clothing items that I've really wanted to make for a while now. They are both vintage patterns. I'm not completely sure I'm gonna get to both of them. Sorry. Can you imagine if this was like a real conversation and I was just like, hold on. I am going to opt for form-fitting, maybe shorter pieces, stuff that doesn't require a heck ton of yardage, which is not something I usually tend to gravitate towards, but you know what? This summer I'm going to show my kneecaps. Let me show you the patterns that I was thinking of using. Do I have enough time to do both of these? I don't know, but do I ever know? No. For this journey we are going to take together, first of all, I would love to make uh, 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 like this. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, 1969. Wonderful. Brian Adams would be proud of me. Why can't I keep this centered? This middle one, doable with um, not a lot of yardage, which is what we really are looking for here. So that is garment number one, torn between this. Oh my God, why am I so bad at centering things to all my... But there's also this, which I also think is adorable. So I'm having a hard time choosing between these two. I would think that this would be easier because it looks like less material. If I were to use this pattern, I'm, I'm assuming I would have to go with this shorter skirt version, but we'll see. So these are the options. For whatever reason, I've just been really into the idea of having um, a play suit. My need to make one has been sparked up again because I've been in a little bit of an Audrey Hepburn kick. A couple photos of her in the most adorable little play suit I've ever seen in my entire life. She looks so cute. I feel like you generally know how my timeline goes. I see something. I borderline unhealthily obsess over said something. <laughs> I need to make it. Before we head to the thrift store, this video is sponsored. To talk a little bit about that, here is Sponsor Rachel. Hi there. Let's talk about bedding that you definitely should not destroy to make clothing. How's that for a segue? Hmm? So today's video is sponsored by Brooklinen. You know, I was gonna get dressed for this uh, sponsored segment, but then I realized, you know what? We're talking about cozy things, so this is it. I could very well be like those very obvious Instagram ads about mattresses. But we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so Brooklinen is a provider of luxury bedding. They also have bathroom items and also a loungewear collection. Specifically, I wanna be talking about the bedding. As you can see. Normally, when it comes to bedding, I usually just buy the cheapest of the cheap. I'm so <laughs> excited. I've never had such nice linens before. <laughs> sort of a weird thing to get excited about, but when you think about the fact that you spend so much of your life sleeping. It's something that going forward, I want to start treating myself a little bit better. If I could just pause the video and sleep right now, I totally would. <laughs> Compared to other luxury bedding companies, Brooklinen makes it super affordable. They cut out the middleman so that you can get all of the bedding for a lot cheaper. Brooklinen has over 35,000 five-star reviews online. You can mix and match from more than 25 colors and patterns to fit your style. I chose two different kinds, so I got white and then I got this really pretty white and gray grid pattern. I ended up getting the classic hardcore sheet bundle, which comes with pillowcases, a fitted sheet, a normal sheet, and a duvet cover. So we 
weird term, but I am definitely a hot sleeper, which means I will wake up just super sweaty in the middle of the night. Their bedding is specifically designed to keep you cool all night long, and let me tell you, it is like sleeping in a hotel. On that note, Do hotels even do that anymore? If you want to check out Brooklyn Inn, you will feel like you're on vacation, which is very nice. What is this position I'm in? How are my legs doing now? Brooklyn Inn is actually having a birthday sale April 27th to May 5th, which ironically is my birthday. <laughs> and all of their products are 20% off on their site. You can head to the link in my description and shop the sale. Thank you so much Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. Okay, actually I lied. Before we head to the thrift store, it's time to figure out how much fabric is actually in a pillowcase. And to do that, hold on, let me get the perfect freeze frame. Nailed it. It's math time! Okay, so I measured this pillowcase. Uh, it measured about one yard wide and then about 19 inches across this ended up not really helping me and i tried searching for how much yardage was in a pillowcase for probably way too long the internet told me that a pillowcase is about one to two yards so i checked to see how much i needed per fabric and was off to the thrift store We have arrived. I'm just gonna pretend I'm cleaning my lens so that people don't see me talking to my camera. Hmm. Very thorough. You look great. Okay, <laughs> I've got my measuring tape ready to go be super self-conscious about looking like a weirdo measuring pillowcases. I have to make sure they fit my giant head. Right, kid. Good morning, Peter. You're looking dapper. That's a cute outfit. So what I ended up getting was a whopping $8.50 worth of pillowcases. Honestly, I could be a millionaire and the amount of dopamine I get from spending little to no money on clothing is comfy jersey flannel material. This was $2 and there are two pots and tags. I got these pillowcases for the 1969 pattern. It's nice and cozy. I'm hoping this is enough. We'll see. Uh, then I struggled with what I wanted to make the play suit out of because I really do want to make the one that is two pieces. I don't know why I didn't think of this until like the very last minute, but what I ended up doing was getting two different patterns, but similar color schemes, a plain yellow, and then this is kind of along the same lines, except a bit stripey. This as the top, and this is the skirt, or vice versa. So, take the seam ripper, pull these apart, and see just how much fabric we actually have here. And I think that will help me visualize if I successfully met the challenge or not. Here we go. I'm pretty confident in saying that there will be red glitter on the floor of this basement, probably for the next 300 years. It's very festive. Also, fun little hack. These are just like little foam mats. There is nothing as satisfying or nostalgic as this feeling right here. Ready? Oh, so good. Okay. Here we see the floor troll gracefully creating her coverings. As you can see, the degradation of the posture over each passing minute is something truly specific to her breed. Wonderful. Oh no, I think we may have been spotted. <sighs> Time for some good old cinematic ironing. Completely unrelated, I need to share my new favorite video in the entire universe, and it's called Orcs with Normal Voices. Sick is he? Give him some medicine, boys.
Now begins the strenuous brain activity of trying to fit all these pattern pieces on this pillowcase. I literally felt like one of those apes they test with like the children's toys. I ended up shortening the skirt, which helped a lot. And then I realized there was a bunch of this rolled up hem that was going to waste. So I pressed that and it gave me a little bit more leeway. Oh my God. That is the closest I've ever come to not having a fabric. Check it out. So after cutting it a little uh, bit too close for comfort when it came to fabric selvage, I finally have all the pieces cut out, which I am so happy about. I was very nervous that I was gonna have to go back to the thrift store. But yes, all of those pieces are now cut out. So here's all the pieces for the dress. Now I've got to do a little bit of reading of the uh, instructions. Normally tend to just yeet across the room to see if there's anything special I need to do other than just attach all of these together. Where did I put those instructions? Okay, I was kidding about yeeting it across the room, but I actually think I did. Here's my best dad in a sitcom at the dinner table impression. <clears throat> Thank you, I'm here all week. Pretty much is what I suspected and that is just kind of joining all of these things together. I do need to make a lining for the bodice. For that, I'm gonna try to see if I have like a blue bed sheet of some sort. Then we can start attaching. Let's do it. I don't know how exciting watching me sit down at a sewing machine and sew something is, but here you go. Ah. Oh my goodness. Also one way to know you're too desensitized to true crime content. Then, in a very me move, I uh, sewed the complete wrong pieces of the lining together and had to redo it. <laughs> That's better. So I'm gonna take the bodice and the lining right sides together, and then you're gonna sew along the edge except for the bottom. And then, once it's sewn and you turn it inside out, it looks very nice. Okay. Ta -da. So now I have to stitch all of the skirts together. I have to skirt. I have to skirt all the stitch pieces. I have to stitch all the skirt pieces together. <laughs> we can attach them to the bodice and then zipper and buttons. And then we can move on to our second piece, which I did not leave myself enough time to do. <laughs> Let's do the skirt. All right, I've just come to accept that my hair looks like Kelso from that 70s show. <laughs> Moving on. Stop that. For now, it's important to me that uh, we get started on the second garment. Garment. <laughs> we'll see how much fabric we have because I'm not entirely sure. Bodice back, bodice front, sleeve, the shorts. Seems relatively straightforward. Let's get to work. <laughs> Oh my, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. That's what she said? Gross. All right, um, okay. Holy frick. I don't know why I'm leaving my mic on for this. I'm sure this is very pleasing to your ear holes. We've got shorts back, shorts front, shorts belt, sleeve, bodice front, bodice back. These three will be going onto one of the fabrics, and these three on the other. You know, part of me, perhaps it is the history buff part of me, it's got me thinking about, I wonder if whoever owned these pillowcases before me ever thought that the pillowcase in which they laid their head down to rest would end up on some weird girl's YouTube channel. Ain't life funny. Shh, I know they gave you up, but Mama's here. We're gonna make you into a beautiful butt covering. Who rescued who? So this is where we run into a little bit of problems when it comes to working with pillowcases. There's a lot of space if you wanna do specific 
patterns. I wasn't intending to do horizontal stripes for these, but it looks like we're gonna have to do that. Peh, <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> ah, tiny little ramen noodles, stop. <gasps> I just made myself hungry with that one. Yes, I did. And that very night she did indeed get ramen noodles. All the pattern pieces fit except for the belts. Make use of this hemmed part here. Maybe cut out a couple and just attach them. I'm gonna get to chopping. You know, I feel like it's very rare where you can see someone actually mentally hit a wall. Um, but lucky for you, <laughs> here you go. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with- So here are the bodice pieces all pinned together. And then the sleeves. And once you add it all together, oops, there's the finished bodice. I feel like it's one of those how to draw memes, but honestly, I couldn't be bothered. Speaking of couldn't be bothered, here's After Hours Rachel. Want to see me do a really good Zamboni impression? You know, I never thought I would be searching Zamboni sound effects on the internet, but YouTube has really broadened my horizons. By this time in the night, my brain was absolute mush, so trying to figure out how to put together these shorts was actually frying my entire brain. <laughs> But let me put it to you short and sweet. You're gonna take those crotch seams on both of them, you're gonna sew them, and then you're gonna lay one on top of each other and then sew the inseam. One mental breakdown later. I did a lot of work on these off camera because um, I was so tired. So without any further ado, here's the reveal. So first of all, with the 70s jumper, I think that came out pretty much as I pictured. Obviously the pattern matching is not um, up to snuff, but you know, with pillowcases, that's one thing that I would think is virtually impossible unless you're very, very careful with where you're pinning your fabrics. I suppose choosing a plaid maybe was not the best idea, but honestly, I don't mind it. I kinda like that it's mismatched. It looks like, like a little patchwork dress. It's so comfy. <laughs> the good thing about using pillowcases is that they are kind of made for comfort. If you're gonna put your face on it, chances are you can probably wear it on your body. Now for this outfit, the shorts, they are so stinking adorable. They make me feel like Winnie the Pooh. I think they're very flattering. Um, I don't really have to, you know, worry about my butt in them. The top is a little bit of a different story. I mean, it's fine. Number one, I think it's kind of boring because it's just a lot of flat surfaces. Number two, the pattern I used was made for a smaller bust by a few inches. And normally that doesn't really matter, but I think in this case kind of does matter. And then there's like a lot of like tucking and warbling around here. Bodices are hard, man. I need to learn how to properly tack down facing because I always find a way to mess things up. And then the sleeves just aren't um, up to my usual standard. If I am gonna wear this, I will probably switch the sleeves out for something more voluminous. I like the buttons. I am very glad these are done. Do me a favor, if I ever say I'm gonna make three items in two days ever again, virtually slap me in the jaw. That sucked. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad in terms of things that I will definitely wear. So my thoughts on making things out of pillowcases. I think it is perfect for if you are making a crop top or a blouse or shorts, very cheap. You can get them for like two to three dollars at the thrift store. It should give you just enough fabric without leftover fabric. That's kind of the big key 
takeaway for me here. Usually when I use tablecloths or sheets, I have a lot left over depending on the project. Extra scraps that I would then go squirrel away in my fabric stash probably never to be touched again. Highly recommend using pillowcases. This might not be a, a novel discovery, but you know, for me, this is not something that I ever thought about using. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, Brooklinen, for sponsoring this video. Again, if you guys want to go check out their birthday sale, which ends May 5th, head to the link in my description and save 20% off anything on their site. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every Friday and we have fun here. I will see you in my next video. Bye! And I'm out of breath. My brain's probably tired of getting all sloshed around. It's like, whoa. That's the power of love. All right, so, yeah. No. Nah. No. Oh, I'm hungry. Don't mind me just Googling who sings that song. Ooh! 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 Woo-wee! Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Ow. <laughs> Thank you.